Hello and welcome to another Inside the High Football Recap. I'm Trevor Alt. As of late, the Jacket football team has been going streaking. They've won three in a row, almost at 500. They're looking to get their fourth straight win this weekend against Rose Holman. In previous weeks, the Jacket defense secondary has been stepping up, but this week, they knew that it would be a different battle. Rose Holman's running back coming in leading the conference with 107 rush yards a game. So Defiance knew that if they were going to pull out a victory, it was going to be won in the trenches. And the Jackets knew that coming in, and they came ready to play. But don't just take my word for it. Let's take it to the field right now for highlights. We're going to start you off with some defense here. Gang tackling was a theme. See four Jacket defenders bring down the running back. Later on in the first quarter, you'll see good coverage. Greg Pickett getting his hands on the quarterback. Joe Me Scott and Pat McDonald also chipping in for the sack there. And then we're going to show you this formation. It's called the inverted bone. You've been seeing a lot since Nate Jensen. Rick Powell with the option pitch to Joey Chester. He's going to scamper it in. Make it 7-7 to in the second quarter. Third quarter now, more inverted bone. You'll see Andy Cessna in motion. There's so many weapons on this jacket roster that Rose Holman doesn't know who to pick up. Rick Powell goes along the left side, takes it to about the 8-yard line, which would set this up later on in the drive, as you'll see Drew Kuzel, more of the inverted bone. Kuzel right up the gut. He'll find the end zone. That's 14-10 to 10 jackets at the time. Skip ahead to the fourth quarter. Check out this formation here. Everybody goes in motion and Kuzel stays. Defiance Football calls this Kuzatron. You can call it a varied wildcat. Rose Holman just called it really difficult to defend. As Kuzel gets in rather easily, he's got six touchdowns in the last two games. That puts Defiance up 21-10 to 10 and they wouldn't relinquish the lead. More great defense here as you'll see Michael Carabino pretty much untouched right up the gut. He's going to bring the quarterback down. And then two plays later, more great jacket defense as Andrew Leverance gets along the outside. And that great Rose Holman running game held to zero yards on the day. A big old goose egg. More offense, Rick Powell, he had 120 yards rushing on the day. You'll see him get outside. And Defiance would go on to take this one 21-18. We're going to show you one more running play. See them bring it down the running back. Held him to just 14 yards. Defiance's rush defense stepping up big as the Jackets put up 254 more rushing yards than their opponents. That's Defiance's fourth win in a row, including 3-0 now under new head coach Nate Jensen. This Saturday, Defiance returns home where they'll take on visiting conference opponent Manchester and try to get their fifth straight win, which would put them over 500 on the year. That does it for this week's edition of Inside the Hive. Thank you for watching. I'm Trevor Alt. Go Jackets!